Today is Canada Day, celebrating the country's 144th birthday. And what better way to do that than what we're doing right here, taking part in community events, fireworks, barbecues, you name it. Uh, how about skiing? Have you ever considered doing that? At Mount Washington today, it was a chance to celebrate the nation's birthday on the slopes. Uh, this is a Canada Day that will go into the record books on Mount Washington, as our Steve Coulterman found out. Canada flags are worn with pride as skiers and snowboarders wait for the lifts to open. It's skiing in July, a first for Mount Washington Alpine Resort. Ready for a good day? It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. We're like, ski on Canada Day? Hell yeah. <laughs> Snowboarding is on Canada Day. It's like, what else are we doing? It's the best way to celebrate Canada. This is what we do all the time. This is legit, for sure. We're making a, a ski and surf weekend, so we're gonna be surfing later on today, so it should be good. Maria Lau arrives more than an hour before the chairlifts open. She's the first in line. Skiing on Canadian soil on Canada Day. I feel very patriotic. Just after 11 o'clock, Lau is officially checked in. Best Canada Day ever! Best Canada Day ever! I love you, Mount Washington! She heads to the top, followed by hundreds. The resort says two lifts, three full runs, and an area for jumps and rails are open. But that's not all when it comes to good news. The resort says due to good weather, the slopes will be open three extra hours every day this long weekend, giving skiers and boarders a chance to ski in July until 7 o'clock at night. It's a little bit slushy, but we knew we weren't coming up for a powder day. It's a little tricky kind of watching out for the rocks, but I mean, it's still fun. To be honest, uh, in winter time, I've seen worse. I mean, it's, it's soft, it's slushy, it's a little slow, but um, in the middle of July, you, you can't complain how conditioned the snow is here. It's it's good enough. By early afternoon, heavy clouds covered the mountain. Not what the resort was hoping for, but says it's staying positive. The weather has been a, a little bit of a detriment today, but it, you know it's moving in and out, and uh, the weather forecast is calling for an improvement. So I think as the day goes on here, it probably should start to clear up a little bit, and it's going to definitely be good for Saturday, Sunday. The clouds don't seem to scare many away. The resort says it's able to be open for business in July thanks to a record-breaking year. More than 19 meters of the white stuff fell. The resort says this is most likely the last weekend for skiing. The bike park, which is currently covered in snow, is scheduled to open July 15th. On Mount Washington, Steve Coulterman, A News.